For any help regarding architectural design assignment help, visit https colon slash slash www.architectureassignmenthelp.com. Email info at architectureassignmenthelp.com. Call us at plus one six seven eight six four eight four two seven seven. Architecture assignment help. History and style. In handling of the problems of structure, contemporary style is related to the Gothic. In handling of the problems of design, it is more akin to the classical. In preeminence given to the handling of function, it is distinguished from both. Hitchcock and Johnson, 1995, PG 36. The citation indicates the use of the Chicago author date style of referencing. However, the use of these conventions is not quite correct here. Information about Chicago referencing can be found at guides.lib.monash.edu slash citing reference in G slash Chicago. Lloyd's Building London by Fred Dawson is licensed under CC by NCND 2.0. Architectureassignmenthelp.com Richard Rogers Lloyd's of London is a building which demonstrates the structural and design aspects of the contemporary style. Rather than adhering to one particular style or condition, Lloyd's places the needs of the client above all else. Its aesthetic value and functional concept begins with the Lloyd's Corporation and ends with it. The Lloyd's Building takes on. It is unclear what is meant by this term. It is better to be specific when using such terms. Lloyd's is characteristic of the high-tech style. The architect has no say or influence on the expression. Each claim should be supported and with it. The Lloyd's building takes on well considered. The sentence is multiple styles and techniques to create the most successful handling of function possible, placing use and practicality above all else. Well considered. The sentence is unclear and it should be corrected with something like shown in the aesthetic style of the building a sense of Gothic architecture can be seen. Which ones? The student should specify what these are how is this judged? By which criteria? Architectureassignmenthelp.com Legend good practice needs improvement comment. Shown in the aesthetic style of the building, a sense of Gothic architecture. Its tall towers that shield the building and raw metallic materials allude to a similar style to that of previous styles. Its tall glass atrium also references the grandeur and open chamber traits of the Gothic, yet its design differs. Focused on the use of versatility and flexibility, Lloyd's conceptual layout is not singular. It has room to. Why is Gothic architecture relevant here? This is a difficult point to argue convincingly. This comment is vague and imprecise. To improve your expression, aim to be clear and precise. Conceptual layout is not singular. It has room to evolve, change and develop, something which resonates only in contemporary style design. While Gothic-styled buildings served a purpose and function, they lacked a sense of movement and adjustment that the contemporary style builds upon. It is unclear what this refers to. Within this new paragraph, the name of the building should be indicated. Furthermore, the whole sentence needs for clarity of expression. It is unclear what is meant by this. The whole sentence needs to be rewritten for clarity of expression. Architectureassignmenthelp.com Furthermore, this flexibility of space relates to the placement of function as arguably the most important element of the contemporary style. While Gothic and classical styles placed aesthetics in high regard, Lloyd's building shows that when use and function are placed first, aesthetic follows. Rogers' construction of the service towers illustrates that by focusing on the open spaces within the building, a certain style was formed by itself. By placing the utilities separate from the circulation area, these towers were formed out of practicality and use. In turn, this created an aesthetic of the grammar within this quote doesn't mesh with the surrounding sentence. To correct this, the student should first check that the quote accurately reflects the original text. If so, the student would need to ensure and use.
In turn, this created an aesthetic of towering columns around the building, similar to a fortress or castle of modern London. While the building is renowned for this physical feature, its use of the contemporary styles and its pre-eminence gift to function is what created such a wholesome and iconic building of the modern time. So, the student would need to ensure the quote is fully integrated within the sentence. In this case, if give were changed to given, the sentence would be grammatically correct. However, when making a change to a quote, you need to use square brackets in order to indicate the added information is not part of the original quote, for example, preeminence give n to function. Architectureassignmenthelp.com This first draft has room for improvement. It is suggested that the student rewrites the draft in terms of the precedents that informed Lloyd's and its expansion of the modern legacy of functionalism. History and Style, Draft 2 The authentic character which should be chosen relative to the purpose of a building, and was thus the poetry of architecture. Collins, 1967, 63 This is closer to the Chicago style, but there is still a minor error there should be no comma after the author. Architectureassignmenthelp.com Richard Rogers Lloyds of London demonstrates the design of a building whose character is directly relevant to its function. Rogers' approach to the Lloyds building was primarily focused on its ability to serve the needs of its occupants above all else. Illustrated by his use of service towers, Rogers defined a clear separation between utilities and inhabitable space by containing stairs, plumbing and bathrooms within steel chambers that appear to latch onto the exterior of the building. This functionalism style references the theory of served and servant spaces which gives hierarchy to the inhabitants' use of space and places services secondary. Lloyds The student should provide a reference to indicate where the quoted phrase comes from. This is unclear. The student should pay attention to their use use of space and places services secondary. Lloyd's bears a strong resemblance to Lewis Kahn's Richard Medical Center, which in a similar fashion, locates all of its utilities within large rectilinear towers scattered around the building's facade. As Rogers himself has noted Kahn as an influence in his design, this concept of inside-out serves as a representation of the emergence of the functional style. Both architects illustrate the character of their buildings through the highlighting of function as the main objective, which gives them a unique language of being practical, modern constructions. Should pay attention to their use of grammar, so that the meaning is clear. Good description. This concept is not correct here, the correct concept is served slash servant. Architectureassignmenthelp.com in focusing on the internal design of Lloyd's, a correlation between Rogers' building and theories of Le Corbusier's five points of architecture can be seen. Noted for its unencumbered floor plan, Lloyd's employs the use of the free plan design, while the columns that support the structure around the edges of the plan are an illustration of the pilotus that Le Corbusier included in his approach. As shown in Le Corbusier's Villa Savoy, these elements gave his building a character of a citation for Le Corbusier should be given here. The correct term here is spatial. Elements gave his building a character of openness and unobstructed design, similar to Lloyd's, which both indicate towards a preference placed upon the use of space. Both Le Corbusier and Rogers illustrate the use of an open floor plan to create flexible and practical special construction, which in turn, creates the characteristics of both buildings being focused on modern legacy of functionalism. Grammatically, the word the should be present before the noun phrase modern legacy of functionalism. This draft is much improved. It indicates the student has incorporated feedback from the first draft. Architectureassignmenthelp.com History and Style the authentic character which should be chosen relative to the purpose of a building, and was thus the poetry of architecture. Collins, 1967, 63. The citation is now correctly referenced in the Chicago style. Richard Rogers Lloyds of London demonstrates the design of a building whose